Hello everyone and welcome back to HTML and CSS lessons on Code Academy. So today it's a bit different and it's going to be the only different lesson of the course. Um, Code Academy, I think, decided to give one uh, free look at the their premium quiz. So I think that we can go through one, at least one of them. So this is going to be the only a different lesson and we're going to be answering a quiz and not looking at code like we normally do so let's just do it because you guys will also have the option of doing it and I think that we can benefit from doing it so let's get straight into it so what is the purpose of this code I think it's talking about uh, the doc type HTML tag so let's see our answer our options uh, one is instruct the browser where to look for your CSS files I don't think it's that, it might be. Allows programmers to link to files in line. Provides the web browser with security information. Tells the web browser what language to expect, in this case HTML. So I'm pretty sure it's the last one. Um, and this is because I don't think that inst it instructs where to look for your C C CSS files because it doesn't give any uh, place or any destination to look for. Uh, allows programmers to link to files in line. Well, again, it doesn't give any uh, destination. Provides the web browser with security information. I don't think that one line of code can do that. And plus, I don't think that this is ever going to do that. And I'm pretty sure that the course actually told us once that uh, this is what it does. That it tells the browser what language to expect, which in this case it's HTML. So let's check if that's correct. And I'm pretty sure that that means it is. So let's move on. Where in your HTML document should you include this code? Well, uh, we know this. It should be at the very first line. So it's not the last line because we're telling it to read in HTML. And if you're telling the pr uh, browser to, to read something in HTML, you need to tell it that it needs to start at the very start. You wouldn't tell something to read uh, in HTML at the very end because that just wouldn't make sense in the body section well how will it know that that's the body section if you don't know what code it is the very first line is my answer it doesn't matter well it depends because if it's at the very first but it doesn't matter um, it just doesn't make sense it's the very first line basically so let's move on which of these lines of HTML by default will display the text with the largest font size? So paragraph, make it look normal text. H4 is even smaller than normal text. I actually don't know what span does. I'm, I'm, but I'm pretty sure that H1, because it's heading 1, it's always going to make anything look the biggest size. So that's line 3. Let's see if we are correct, and we are. Uh, line 1 isn't because that's just normal size as I said h4 is even smaller than normal size I have no idea what span does hopefully we will see over the next few lessons what span is so let's move on for this tag to display an image what must you replace the pound symbol with img src equals pound symbol in this case uh, an image file size no nope. an image anchor tag I don't know what that is exactly, but I don't think it is. The image vector, I don't know what that is either. An image URL, it's definitely an image URL because that's what we've been using over the last few lessons and that is the correct answer. So let's move on. What element or elements will you find inside a body tag? So headings, paragraphs, links and images, we will definitely find that. Let's see our other options. Head and title elements. No, that goes in the head uh, section, which is in the HTML section. A doc type declaration. No, don't think it is. All of these are correct. No, definitely not all of them because head and title elements go in the HTML section, which is above the body section. I mean, the head section is above the body section in the HTML section. So it's headings, paragraphs, links, and images. Correct. Let's move on. What is the function of the tag below? I'm guessing it's talking about the title tag. So that uh, that uh, changes what the tab, the, what the title of the tab is. 
so let's see it shows the server how the how to index the website no definitely not it stores the web page title for browser and search engine results it might be that one it shows the server how to title the website Ooh, it might be that one it shows a ma meta information about the title I don't know what meta means it shows the server how to title the website I no, but it doesn't tell the server that so I don't think it's that one it stores the web page title for browser and search engine results I think it's that one yes it is that one I don't know what meta means um, I do remember the course mentioning something about meta but I don't think it was that relevant at the time I might need to look that up but the answer is it stores the web page title for browser and search engine results next what will happen if you click on this image on a web page? So we have something linked to pgtips.co.uk and that something is an image. So once you click on this image which you, which is on from Wikipedia, it's going to lead you to PG Tips. The image will download, definitely not. Well, actually it will download but into your like a temporary folder because it's not going to be stored or I'm not sure actually it, I think that everything that you load onto your browser gets downloaded temporarily anyway like your cookies and stuff you'll be redirected to uh, wikipedia.org that's definitely not because the image is from wikipedia but the um, title or no not the title the reference or the hyperlink leads you to pgtips.co.uk you will be redirected to the image source no because it's the same as wikipedia well not wikipedia.org but the same as this whatever that is it's something about the sheep i think by the looks of things of the link uh, you will be re redirected to pgtips.co.uk it's definitely that one because we have a href equals that link and a href just specifies to where should it lead you if you click on it and that's the correct answer so let's move on below is a paragraph element what is the benefit of inputting text into one okay let's see our options you cannot insert text outside of tags y yes you can you definitely can it allows the text to be styled I'm pretty sure that that's the answer it will not be displayed it will be displayed because it's a paragraph tag and we have used it before and I have proved that it can be displayed it prevents markup adjustments it doesn't the answer is it allows the text to be styled because if you don't make something into paragraphs it's not going to look as nice as if you do unless you're using CSS which is a bit of a different story and we will come on to that in a f in the following few lessons hopefully so let's move on HTML is a markup language. What does it mean? Hypertext markup language. Um, it was developed by a community rather than a single architect over time. Okay. It means the language cannot be interpreted by a web browser. It can be. But I don't know if it's interpreted or compiled. So that might be a trick question or a trick answer. <laughs> it turns text into images, links, tab tables, lists, and more it's used to mark up existing code I actually don't know the answer to this one um, it's a markup language I mean the last one makes most sense but it does turn text into images links tables and lists and more so I'm just going to guess and say it's the last one and it's not uh, we got that wrong and I don't know what the right answer is can we go back and redo that I have no idea so um, if you guys can test this please do tell me which one is the right answer but yeah I think it's it turns text into images links tables lists and more um, I don't think it's any of the other ones I mean I'm, it was definitely not developed by just one person because that would be quite difficult to do for a whole language but it might have been so that might be the right answer or that I don't think it's this one I'm really not sure so let's move on. I will come back to this if I can later on, but for now, let's move on. What is the difference between HTML and CSS? 
So CSS structures of web page HTML strictly provide styling? No. HTML, HTML gives a web page structure. CSS provides styling. That's the one. There is no difference. CSS is one type of HTML. No. So we will come on to CSS later on, as I mentioned. Uh, but CSS pretty much was made to help uh, with HTML so that it allows you to stylize web pages more easily. As I mentioned in one of my videos before, um, before CSS came around, apparently people who programmed in HTML had to use tables to organize everything on a web page so that it looks nice. But now that we have CSS, it's a lot easier to organize things on a web page. So for example, if I wanted uh, these boxes here to be or in the center, I would have to use a table. But I'm guessing that, well actually this is probably done in JavaScript, but say this was just like this, some somebody would have used CSS uh, if this wasn't interactive, I mean. So let's go on to the last question. This HTML anchor tag will not work. Why not? Um, a href equals, oh, okay, I see why. So we have, we do have a, an opening tag, which is written kind of correctly. We have a closing tag, which is definitely written correctly. And between those two, we have some text. What you are missing though, is quotation marks around the web page, and there's an extra slash here, which uh, you either need to get rid of, or you need to put the quotation mark after, depending on how you want the web page to be written. So you either need to put a quotation mark between the uh, pointy bracket and the quote and the slash, or d get rid of the slash and put a quotation mark after the M of the com, as well as put a quotation mark between the equal sign and the H. So the URL is missing quotation marks. That's the answer. The href is missing a closing tag. No, it's not because it doesn't need one. Uh, the link is incorrect. It should be ref, not href. Definitely not that one. There is no anchor ta tag in the code. There is. So it's that's the right answer. So let's see what happens if we go on next. 90% uh, correct. Enjoy quizzes. So when you upgrade, no, we don't want to upgrade. So I will go and retake this quiz and answer the question correctly that I got incorrect. So I'll be right back, guys. So this is the correct answer as as my speculations. Um, I like that word. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, so the ans right answer is it turns text into images, links, tables, lists, and more. Uh, as, because this is what normal code does. So as we see, we can write a lot of text and that gets turned into a lot of other text or links or tables or images and other stuff. So you're instructing uh, the browser what to do with some text. So that's the correct answer if you guys want to go through this quiz and get 100% on your first go. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, do feel free to ask them. Um, next lesson, we will be coming back to our normal style of uh, lessons, which is going to be actual writing code and doing that kind of stuff. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.